Giant billboards featuring OnlyFans model cleared by advertising watchdog. Following several complaints, the UK's advertising authorities have cleared huge billboards with an OnlyFans model wearing a bra. The Advertising Standards Agency, ASA, claimed that the billboards were unlikely to offend since they were not overtly sexual and did not objectify women. It follows the appearance of the advertisements, which included an image of model Eliza Rose Watson and information on her OnlyFans account in four different London areas. One of the utilized billboards was around 450 meters from a school. They sparked 30 complaints to the ASA, with the complainants claiming that the image was improper for placement in a place where children may view it. Watson's attire was, however, deemed to be no more than mildly sexual by the ASA, even though the picture did not contain any nudity and her position was exposing. While we acknowledge that the image of Ms. Watson in reference to OnlyFans might be distasteful to some, we considered that because the ad was not overtly sexual and did not objectify women, we therefore concluded it was unlikely to cause serious or widespread offense, an ASA spokesperson said. The closest advertisement to a school was 450 meters away, according to Amplify Outdoor, the owner of the poster locations. Environmental activists Global Witness later took control of the billboards at Bruce Grove in Tottenham, Norwood High Street in Lambeth, and Deansbrook Road in Edgware. Watson, a resident of Dorset, revealed to The Sun last month that she made almost £200,000 each month by selling pornographic photographs on OnlyFans, an adults-only website where users can purchase and trade pornographic content. The 34-year-old claimed to have spent about £18,000 on her advertising campaign, which also featured two billboards in Times Square in New York City and four billboards in the UK. She made the following statement in response to response to the billboards, If people are upset by my advertisement, I'm thinking they're also complaining about Ann Summers and Jack Daniels ones. You see ads for gambling, alcohol, sex toys, lingerie, there is no difference between that type of adult-oriented ad and my adult-oriented ad. Said Watson. This is a real business, if a gambling or alcohol company can run their ads, which have far more devastating impacts. Why not me?